are you ready for some fall DIYs? I am so excited to show you all of the fun DIYs that we're going to be making for fall. One of the first ones being these beautiful Mackenzie Child inspired pumpkins. And I have made quite a few over the past few years, but I wanted to show you guys how um, I, make, I make them. So this print goes really well with all the beautiful fall bright colors and I can't wait to use them. So let's go ahead and show you how I make them. Until next time. From Hobby Lobby. Um, this is their, under their fall crafts. And what we're going to do is we're going to spray paint it white. Um, because we're going to um, do a Mackenzie Child's dupe. Okay, so now that we have it all... Let me move these so you can see it. So now that we have it all spray painted, now we can go ahead and do the Mackenzie Child pattern. So in case you're wondering, uh, this is the paint that um that i used so white satin krylon color master uh, then you can also just use any white pumpkin that you have if it's white it's easier to do it um you always want to paint it white first or just get a white pumpkin because it's easier to do the pattern so uh, this is another option. We're also going to paint this one in a different pattern as well, black and white. And then I just want to show you different uh, ones that I've done in the past. Um, so these are like smaller ones that I've done. I think this one might need a makeover. I think I'll probably do the stem gold. Um, this is another one that I've done. And some of these are from Dollar Tree. Some of these are from Hobby Lobby. The ones that come in the little pack of six, seven. And then, of course, I also did a bigger one. This is a Target one. I did a, um, a while back, I bought a few Target ones. And I freehand this. I'm not drawing. I'm not doing anything. It's all freehand. And we're going to use um, this deco art americana acrylic paint and it's just um it says a uh, lamp ebony black so we'll be using this to paint okay so just follow the lines as a guide um the little dents right here um that's what we're gonna do and like i said i'm gonna freehand this i'm not um I didn't do a pattern or anything. Um, we're just going to just start. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, Mackenzie Childs, the pattern is not perfect at all. And that's what makes it unique. Okay, so there's the first one. There. Okay. Then... You're going to skip one, right? Skip one, and then you go to the next one. And then just follow the same. Okay. Then you do the same thing. You skip one. Okay, um, and I know that now we're uneven, right? So we're going to have to improvise on this one. And if you're a perfectionist, then of course, this is not going to work for you. But I'm okay with um, improvising and making uh, another making my own line for the next one so i'm just gonna do half of one side and half of the other 
and then just follow the same pattern it is what it is because not all pumpkins are made the same so if you do want it to look perfect then you're gonna have to find a um pumpkin that has about eight two four yeah eight little sides so that way uh you don't have this issue but like i said because you can always you can always be have the this be the back of it like i said I'm, i i don't mind at all it's it's fine by me so as you can see i'm grabbing half here's the dent right here and then i'm just grabbing half of each side which like i said i'm perfectly okay with doing that okay so that's the first one now what you're gonna do is leave about the same amount about the same length uh in spacing so this is as much spacing as there is on the first one and you're gonna do the same um space for the white so in this case it ends around here like i said it doesn't have to be perfect just leave enough space so it's a little semi even but once again it doesn't have to be perfect okay so now for the second one you're going to do it on on this side so you're following you're gonna do black white white and now here is going to be black so you're going to follow the line from the um from each side so you're going to just go here and here and then start and this one you need to end it where the black one starts right here okay so the next one's going to be white then the other side is going to be black so once again connect it to this right here from the ending of the other black okay so this is what it looks like um i don't think it's gonna need another coat of paint um it looks pretty good we'll let the black dry and then i'll um fix these with uh white paint and then for the stem i'm going to do gold um as well and i'll be I'll use this one. Uh, this is Folk Art Metallic. It's uh, pure gold. Okay, so here's um, the actual Mackenzie Child pattern. So what I'm going to try to do is um, mirror this like gold and white, um, like shading on each of the um pattern on each of them on the on the pumpkin even the the white has like a little bit of black in it um a little bit of gold so that's what i'm going to try to do <laughs>
gold um, on the stem, but that's okay. But this is what the end result is. We'll let it dry. But see how pretty. I just love how big the pattern is. And then when you look at it from far away, it just looks really good. Okay, so we're going to let that one dry. And then we'll start with this one. So this one is already white. It already came like that. And the patterns um, on this one, we're just going to do straight lines down. So one is going to be white, one's going to be black. This one, I'm going to take the stem out. It'll be easy to paint. With the stem just in Paul Mackenzie Chow colors. Here's the other one, just gorgeous, just beautiful. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Crafting is fun, so there's no messing up anything okay so these are the two that i made that you see me made but i wanted to show you a few others that i've done throughout the years so this is another one too and i also like to make uh the smaller ones so i use them to put just all over on the florals just by sticking something on the bottom to hold it so these are uh, cute for just to put everywhere. And then here's one. This is uh, from, this is ceramic. This is from uh, Dollar Tree. This one turned out really cute. So as well. And so these have been done throughout the years. So they are all pretty. Um, but yeah, so it's fun to, to paint them. So don't be afraid. Like I said, there's no perfect way to do it. You just go for it. And um, if you make mistakes, then, you know, it is what it is. It's just paint. And it's just for decor anyways. So, I hope that you try it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the videos. And